Welcome back, everybody. Welcome to the UK American Bar TV show podcast. Recently, we just interviewed Pat Savage here on his UK tour, promoting his new television show, The Savage Roads. He's also telling us about some of the bands and acts that he's been in over the years. Number one album, all the people he's met, like Led Zeppelin, worked with people like the Doobie Brothers. Man, he is fantastic. You're going to enjoy him. Check him out, Pat Savage. I'm Canadian, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, introducing to you the wonderful, the great rocker himself, Mr. Pat Savage. Hello, hello, hello. It's great to finally meet you. <laughs> nice to now meet you. Now we can shake hands again without all the... Uh, You're going to hit us with a tune? COVID stuff. Yes, absolutely. Would you like to hear it? Yes, tune? please, man. That'd be yes. great. All right, cool. This is uh, inspired by Led Zeppelin. You can hear it in the uh, chorus. And it's basically a story of my life. I was born a traveling man Hit them streets of running At my home at just 15 Headed out on the highway All the way down to Texas Some California dreaming Never knew what would happen next Drifter through and through Whiskey and I've drank some Mountain Dew. Seen a lot of sunshine and some stormy weather too. I've been waiting. I've been waiting. Out to LA All around with Mustang Sally I hear my guitar play From Denver, Colorado Sweet home Chicago Sunshine and some stormy weather too I've been waiting Started singing Rod Stewart. Very similar. Years out on the road, play guitar and singing. Bass player Peter. Hey Peter. He's in Amsterdam. Um, hi, Bucket. Mate, 
Chris. Hi, Chris. One of my mates, Kevin. Hello, Kevin. I might as well say hi to everybody. Uh, Bob. And Sam. Hi, Sam. All the way down in St. Louis. From sweet old Alabama down to Nashville. Out to L.A. Hung around the Mustang Sally. Hear my guitar play. From Denver, Colorado, sweet home Chicago, all the way, yeah, yeah. I have seen the city lights, climb the mountains too, and I have drank corn whiskey, and I have drank some Mountain Dew. I've seen a lot of sunshine and some stormy weather too, I've been Thank you so much. Gentlemen. Pat, thank fantastic. you very much. Thank you for joining us. I do appreciate it. You're that was very welcome. Cool. I'm very uh, excited to finally be here. That was and, pretty cool. Uh, where shall I put this? Did you say here? something about Led Zeppelin? That was uh, inspired. It was by? influenced by yes, one of Jimmy Page's open tunings. Um, as you probably know, he started out as a session man in London here. Yeah. In his early teens, <clears throat> quite a uh, prodigy. And by the time he was in that something, he was experimenting with open tunings. That's like an open G, but it's got an Indian... Oh, it's pretty, it's very Americana, isn't it? <laughs> it's totally Americana, and that's why I chose it. So, let's get to Pat here. Savage. Canadian. Yeah. Yes, Canadian. And uh, you first started playing the drums when you was five? I did. I, the, had five years. I was banging on things drums. before that. Catalogs stacked up. and Pets and pans. Yeah, my, uh, my, my mom and dad finally got me a little plastic kind of kit, and by age seven... I had a proper had Lud- a Ludwig Hollywood set. And then you got a guitar as well when you were seven. Well, I was twinkling around my dad's, uh, but I didn't really take it. To, uh, yeah, around seven I started playing just chords and sort of, you know, with the bands that I was playing uh, drums with, which was my dad, mm-hmm. most of all. Started out playing in my dad's band and high school band. Oh, uh, well, not high school, but first uh, elementary school. So was your, uh, your first album, was your first album Wildwood? Wild World, yes. Wild World. Uh, 1991. Okay. I returned from a crazy time in the States. My, uh, you know, I got famous while I was down there. <laughs> and, uh, and it was my first release in Canada, in London, London, Ontario, London, Canada. Right. And, um,. I read about one of the festivals. Was twenty two thousand people. Don't that yeah, that was, was uh, yeah, that was that wonderful. Was with Jeff Healy and Colin James. It was a really, really good. God, we played with some big stars. A big show, and that was at the, actually at the point where we had been in London in like seven years, and we were like the kings of London. And I had already done the states with Doobie Brothers and Eddie Money yeah. and a bunch of other people that you see on my bio. We might talk about that later. Yeah, we all talk about what BB oh, King okay. and the it's animals. Up to you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a lot of people. <laughs> but uh, but basically, yeah. Um, Started so so out, where, where's the band out. now? Where is the band? Well, my bass player, Peter. Hey, Peter. He's in Amsterdam. He works at the hospital uh, with uh, children, sick children. And he's a bass player about town now. And, you know, if I call him up and say, hey, we've got a tour, then the, everything else he <laughs> shuffles off to other bass players. Cool. Yeah. And Bauke, she's now a... Um, hi, Bauke. She's now a um, counselor. 
for married people that are splitting up, just split up, sure. about to split up, maybe splitting up like a counselor or whatever. She's still playing drums, but um, but yeah, like like uh, the rest of us, the pandemic just stopped. We had the biggest world tour that year, 2020, yeah. mm-hmm. about a quarter million euros. Uh, oh my god! Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the you know gross whatever. And uh, it was terrible. And but people lost. No, people lost. I'm not complaining about losing sure. a tour because people lost their homes, their livelihood, in their the jobs. In the pandemic, yes, yeah, terrible. In the pandemic, yeah. I mean, we're over that now, and thank God, yes. we're back to getting back to normal, whatever that is. Well, of course, you're getting into. Uh, you had this great world series. Um, you know, the Savage Roads. Yeah, my new TV can... series is a combination of food, travel, uh, history, entertainment. Music, of course, art, um, history, spirituality, I'll leave it like that rather than calling it religion, but uh, every country... You travel around the world in your Harley, don't you? Well, we're in... Yeah, exactly. Well, yeah. Where, where's, well, where's the Harley? I but I'm also in. riding... Well, I have White Cloud. She's an old <laughs> 2001. She came from right here in England. Uh, oh, my right. mate, Chris. Hi, Chris. He's the head of our security. He was a uh, former, he's former special branch, so he looked after the princes and now King and, and Lady Di. Now he has me as his charge. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but anyway, Chris had had her for 20 years and just looked after her. So when he got his new bike, he said, Pat, are you interested in White Cloud? Well, it wasn't called White. She wasn't called White Cloud at the time. Mm-hmm. But this bike, a 2001, runs better and say it never burns oil. I've been riding all over Europe and Greece and everywhere. That's amazing. Yeah, she's in great shape. Thanks, Chris. I mean, the TV show's great because everyone joins in and follows her around. Every town that you go to. Yeah. Man, you must be having a ball doing that. It's a lot of fun. It is a lot of work. And, of course, raising the funds. Do you have a sponsorship deal still with Harley-Davidson? No, Harley-Davidson is uh, funny that way. They're struggling like a lot of other companies. They, uh, you know, I'm called the... The biker uh, king. The Harley man and the biker... Yeah, king of biker music and all that... And I have a really good relationship with Harley Owners Group, Harley Davidson Clubs, the MCs. Uh, we don't have anything to do with 1%. We don't do anything like Los Angeles or those guys. No. No, used to at one point, but uh, it's too, there's too much criminality. And that's what my show is not about. It's the 99% of us, you watching, me, him, uh, who rides, you know, honey, I'm going to work. Okay, do you need anything? Yeah, I need bre- milk and bread. Okay, from... Vroom is the word, right? Vroom, off to work. And you go I've off. always wanted to have a Harley and myself. Less, but yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm too, well, I'm you'd be great like too, on I'm one. too little. Like no, that. get a nice sportster. You'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So uh, you're also getting to this acting career now, here about. You've, you've come yes, to London. Yes, I've to come do... to London to, I've been signed to uh, Danya. Hi, Danya. Danya Youssef. She started hey. a new agency. With people from, 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 with people from. Bernie, how you doing? Thank you. Sorry, Pat. You got a cup of tea. Is this Pat's? Uh, sorry, but, oh my god, there's so many things. Thank you, Bernard. We really appreciate that. Monster. Very what kind. Is that? Thank you, Pat. Is he like tame or? She's lovely. It's a she. It's a she, yeah. Okay. Thank you, Pat. See you again. Oh, okay. The monster's name, Pat? Don't upset. No, her, no, her name's Bernie. Her name's Bernie. Her name's Bernie. Right in the middle of our show, you didn't even realize it's going to be a monster. <laughs> <laughs> That's a pretty furry one, too. Yeah, so tell us a bit about this mm, acting career. This new agency. Proper, proper that you've tea. Proper British tea. <laughs> Sorry? Tell us a bit more about this agency. Ah, oh, well, one of my mates, Kevin. Hello, Kevin. I might as well say hi to everybody. <laughs> Kevin is an actor, <laughs> local actor here. Also, uh, he was a, uh, he's a retired policeman. Uh, for Kent, Kent policeman. And uh, he um, has been acting for a long time. And he has a great agent, Donya. And uh, he said, oh, you should probably just talk to Donya, maybe... And she just looked at this face and went, yeah, you know, come on, yeah. Mo- modeling, acting, I, that's what I started with. See, I started at five years old, acting, modeling, dance, and music. Music was, you know, all through school was part of my whole thing. But I really liked just being on stage and public speaking. Um, I was a head altar boy, you know, with the wine and the 